Hey everybody, welcome back to Autobox Plays Dark Souls. I was about to say The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Um, yeah. Well, as you can probably tell, we are in the Undead Parish right now. And I think what we're gonna do is... Um, let's see. What we're gonna do... Is... See if we can take out the charged gargoyles this time around. It's next on our next on our list, and it needs to get done. All right, bitch, let's go. All right, well. Same day recording. Still feeling bad. I took a little break um, to gather my thoughts, and I don't know how well it's doing right now, but okay. Well, I call BS on that. So, all right, bud. There we go. That's the parry I was looking for. Um, I'm hoping we don't completely shit the bed right now. Because, we got a little big homie over there, and I would like to kill him before we move on. So, let's... Come on, bud. Sheesh. <coughs> Alright, come on. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, off to a good start. Take a little sippy sip. Doing a ton of damage. Circle strafe and chug. Come on. Sorry, I'm like actually focusing right now. Because of how badly I've been playing. We almost got him. Yes, got him. Sweet. A little tough, but not terribly tough. Okay, let's move on. Right here, we actually give access get access to a Firekeeper's soul. We can use this to upgrade our Estus. Um, I don't know what good it'll do right now. Uh, let's also first activate the shortcut. This shortcut allows us to get back to Firelink Shrine, and that's very, very helpful because I have a decent amount of souls, at least at this point in the game, and I'd really rather not lose it. Okay. Now, let's mosey our way back down and rest of the bonfire. I want to make... It's so that, um, I think we should go back to the Undead, uh, Undeadburg, and see if we can talk to the, um, the merchant, buy his stuff, and then I want to kill him because I really want the Uchi Katana. And I think our, our stats are good enough right now. Yeah, we should be fine. Actually go off and do, and kill him. And yeah, we're getting really, really bad at our parrying. Go behind him. Yeah. It's like I'm going way too early on the parries, and I don't need to do that. Okay. So we managed to get past this part, and let's kill the rats. Okay, cool. Now we will just run our, our booties onto the undead merchant. It shouldn't take us too long. 
But from there, we should be on our way to making ourselves not so shit. Hopefully, at least that's the plan. Short sword, interesting. Probably not gonna use it. Let's kill you. There you go. Drink a little bit of our sippy and run up. But yeah, um, I'm a little nervous about going against the uh, church gargoyles, mostly because of how my play is going right now. I don't feel like I am competent enough to get through them without completely fucking up. We'll see though. Come on. <coughs> Let's kill this dude because he's being annoying. Should have thought of that before going against him. Fuck you, die. Alright. Let's get a light crossbow, doesn't matter. Moving on. Come on. Sweet. Come on. Do it. There we go. Roll. Kill this dude before he fucks our shit up. Sweet. I'm gonna actually think I wanna use a firebomb once I'm done killing this dude. Well, like, to initiate the fight against this guy. Um, let's purchase. Wanna get the residence key? And get this. Anything else that I kinda want? Uh, not really. I mean, I guess I could get the short bow. Yeah, let's get the short bow. And the orange soapstone. I think that should be everything that I want. Let's leave. Okay. Now let's equip the fire bombs. Why me? Yep. Thank you for the Uchi Katana. And we can actually use it. Sweet. It has pretty low durability, but I like the moveset of it enough, so that way... Yes, yeah, so you just look at that. Yeah, the inner fedora tipper within, uh, within me is um is euphoric about the fact that we have a katana right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, the for all intents and purposes, as cringy as the katana is, I like it enough. Okay, cool. Step one complete. Now what we want to do is probably actually run back to Firelink Shrine and Oh see look at that. Some sexy damage. And it has it, it has like good reach. Oh god. There we go. <laughs> uh, four times the charm, I suppose? Let's drink a little bit more. Sippy. Pick that up. Probably never gonna use it. And just run our asses down. The fact that I'm missing so many parries is actually getting a little ridiculous right now. Yeah. Take a little rest, and then we leave. Let's go. Because I am confident, I believe, in our ability to, to blah blah, to successfully succeed. There's potential there, at least. Um, 
Although I am a little terrified uh, that we're going to get completely pooped on by the church gargoyles. And hell, even the stuff before it. That little mini gauntlet you have to go through to actually get to the damn thing is kind of a pain in the dick. So, um, hopefully Chicken Curry is baller enough to actually take them down. Alright, let's go. The Undead Parish. There's a balder up here. Fuck, man. Okay. You'll learn to pair these dice. There we go. That was good. Yeah, once we actually get the parry off, I mean, like, everything becomes super, super easy. So, what I think we want to do is lure the assholes in here. Okay. Slowly cutting through them. It's good that we're one-shotting them. Holy fuck. Run! 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 Okay, run. Uh, I hate how it actually trades hits like that. It's kind of silly. Alright, fucker. Let's go. Okay, drink. Drink. Sweet. Now, the bleed proc was super nice right there. It actually allowed us to get through that without getting completely dumpstered. Okay. Moving on. We'll pick up the large soul of a nameless soldier. And we probably want to go up here. Um... Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh shit. Close. Okay, cool. We made it. I swear the body physics in this game are a little hilarious. Um So, ahead of us, we are gonna run into a prisoner, actually. Um, forget its name, not important, but essentially what happens is, oh yeah, another thing, if you actually see any guys in a barrel like this, you can smash through them and they will have a humanity on their body. Just a little tip. Um, so he's up here, we can release him, and I think I am, but when he actually goes through the, um, What's its shit? When he actually goes... Yeah, Lotric of Kareem. When he actually goes to the... Firelink Shrine, that's what it was. I think what we want to do is actually kill him. I know. Um, he has a little quest associated with him later on in the game where he actually ends up killing the Firekeeper, thus rendering the Firelink Shrine completely useless. Uh... And I kind of don't want that. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go. Let's go. If I die, I die. But I want to know if we can actually make it. I am going to use a gold pine resin for this. Hopefully I don't end up wasting it, right? Let's apply it, and then I'm going to run. Let's watch the cutscene. Just taking a bit of the coffee.
All right, Bell Gargoyle. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Take a little bit of... Fuck. So I want to end up killing him before... Yeah, I want to kill him before the thing runs out. Shit, 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 shit. We can make this. We can totally make this. Come on, bud. Come on. Channel boys! Well, I think we're screwed. Yeah, we lost it. Fuck! Oh, we were so close. So goddamn close. Alright, the idea is that you want to make it so that you can just kill the dude straight up. But no, I completely bricked it. Ugh, disappointing. Uh-uh. Okay, what are the requirements to wield the halberd? We need 16 strength. Let's do it. Oh, that's so disappointing. But we're not going to get despondence. It's disappointing. But, I think we have a good shot. Let's see. We want to increase our strength by at least two. So, I think if we pop that, and let's go down. And pop that. Like, pop a couple of these. We should have enough to level up a couple times. And one more. Only once, okay. Well, I guess we'll pop some more souls. In this episode, I really would like to make some good progress along. Pop that. Is how many more? Eh, uh, probably once more? I would think. Okay, cool. That's just enough. That gave us the ability to wield a halberd without feeling too weak. Okay. Whether or not this will actually work is unknown to me, but, well, we gotta try, right? Yeah, this is what we want, and I think we gotta brute force our way into winning this fight. We are probably most likely just gonna run. I don't want to use the last gold pine resin against this thing. Um, the halberd should be enough to just like outright kill him, because if we take a look, see, this does like 110 damage compared to the uchi katana. Yeah. Sweet, we made it past him. Now here's the tricky part. Fuck! Yeah, that's the problem. When you get completely swarmed like that, ah, I wanted to make it so that we ran past that dude. Damn it! So as you can probably tell, I'm actually really, really bad at this game. <laughs> oh, goodness.
these recordings are going to be a slog to get through if I'm playing this badly. I re like, not just for me, but for like anyone who's actually going to potentially be watching these things. Because no one wants to watch someone just get completely shit on over and over. And Dark Souls is not a hard game. I mean, sure, it's challenging, but just because of the fact that I'm dying con like a ton doesn't mean this game is bad. It just means that I need to get good. Okay, so moving on. There is a way to run past this thing. I've done it before. Shit! Alright, running up. Well, we managed to get through. Hopefully no one climbs the goddamn ladder. Oh, fuck you guys. Alright, we're gonna make it up. And then... We're gonna do it. I believe. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, we made progress. It is completely possible. I see it. Okay, we're just gonna run our way forward. I don't think we actually should do the um the heavy attack. The it just killed our stamina. And didn't allow us to get out of the way quick enough. No. Just calm down. No, we can do this. Alright. Back up again. That's what's at least we're able to get past these guys. Okay, neato. We got past this. Um without getting completely crapped on. Lovely, 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 lovely. Yeah, this dude's attacks are relatively telegraphed. Or telegraphed pretty well. So. Oh shit. Don't miss. Oh fuck, okay. Drink. Oh, I died! No! <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have no words. I legitimately have no words for that. That was... That was something. Okay. Oh shit. Albert Chan- Oh! Okay, cool. We remained calm, and we actually got up there. We'll be able to drink one more. Estish. And then we'll be able to go against the boss. I really, really do think it's possible. We can do it. 
We just gotta not be shits. All right, apply. I, I have full faith. I'm going all in on this one. All right, let's go. Okay. 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 We got him. We got him. Just chill. We did it. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, that was a lot harder than it needed to be. And we got 10k souls from that. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Alright, let's climb our way up to the first Bell of Awakening. Yeah, the Halberd, um, definitely was the MVP of this, of this fight because it carried our little baby asses. Alright, let's ring it. And with that, we have rung, rang, rung, the first bell of awakening. Neato. Now, let's go down. Let's not fall like idiots. Okay. Climb down. And we run into Velka. Hey, guy. Greetings. I am Oswald of Karim. Oh, A. Lamau. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, so what he does, he's actually, um, there's a mechanic in this game, it's called Sin. Never understood it too well, but it's there. What it actually does is, um, it's on, it, it involves one of the covenants, that's for sure. Um, and we learn the most used emote in the entire game. Well, what is it? We can buy some stuff from him. It's like, report trespasser. Just passive invader, that sort of stuff. Book of guilt. Um, just sell this sort of stuff. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, that's him. That's Oswald. Let's uh, mosey our way on out of here. I think we're just going to use a um, one more bone. I don't want to use that. One more bone. Where are you? There we are. Our only homeward bone, but we're going to use it to go back to the last bonfire. You know. Alright. Considering that's... I think we're going to end the episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider hitting the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.